This is Your Voice, Your Vote with Steve Dunn. And welcome back to the program, everybody. K2 News is dedicated to helping you make an informed decision in the 2022 election. That's what we do on the show, and it's what we're doing at KATU.com with our Know Your Candidate series. We have interviews and information from dozens of candidates running for federal, state, and local offices. And my next guest is one of those candidates. Michael Trimble is a Democrat running in Oregon's May 17th primary for his party's nomination for governor. He joins me now. Michael, thank you for coming on Your Voice, Your Vote. And thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Michael, from what I read in the Know Your Candidates questionnaire you filled out, you have quite the amazing story. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yes, Steve, thank you. I was born um, in Russia without arms because of the Chernobyl nuclear incident, and I use my feet like you use your hands. I'm an avid cyclist in 2020. I bike 10,868 miles. I learned at a very young age that the only person who's gonna fight for you is you. And I've been fighting for my rights ever since. And I wanna take that fighting spirit, wit and grit to Salem to be able to represent Oregonians across the state, Democrat and Republican. I currently work for Care Oregon as a healthcare customer service member. And I take calls from Medicare and Medicaid patients and I welcome them to the plan. And so I am very, on the front lines of the healthcare industry. And one of the things I want to do as governor is expand Oregon Health Plan to all Oregonians, regardless of income or immigration status. I'm also a renter. And despite Care Oregon's um, rather comfortable salary that they give us, I'm still living paycheck to paycheck because the costs of living are just too high. Rents are sky high, healthcare costs are sky high, the inflation is sky high. And as governor, I'll be tackling all of these issues. I am the everyday Oregonian citizen and I'll be fighting for you in Salem and I would appreciate your vote for me on May 17th. You know, Michael, politics can certainly be a tough job. I'm sure you're aware of that. So why decide to run for the state's top job as governor? Uh, yes, great question. A lot of things that I wanna do, like rent control and expanding um, healthcare to all can only be done at the state level. Obviously I could have run for a state representative or state senator, but you're only one out of hundreds of people. As governor, you are in charge of an executive branch and you can really spearhead the movement. I can use the bully pulpit of the press and push Salem to actually do what it's been talking about doing. They've been talking about campaign finance reform for years and years and they don't do it. They talk about, you know, affordable health health care and housing. They don't do it. You know, Tina Kotek, one of my main challengers, she was speaker of the house for nine years. Why didn't she make Oregon the first state in the country to have minimum wage at $15 an hour. Why did she not institute a living wage of $25 an hour at all companies who are reporting billion dollar quarterly profits? These are all things I will be doing. I will not be sitting on my hands doing nothing, not like Tina or Tobias. I will be working hard for Oregonians and I believe I'm the best fit for it because of my lived experience. I am not a politician. I am not a career government official like my opponents. I am you. Michael, let me ask you this. Lots going on in the state right now, as you well know. What do you consider the number one challenge facing Oregonians as we speak? Housing. Housing, housing, and housing. There are too many people who are homeless, and then there are too many people, myself included, who are dangerously close to not being able to afford our housing because rents are so, so high and we have got to lower them. We have got to expand supply. There are so many vacant buildings and properties that I buy, buy just in downtown Portland. And as governor, I will be using eminent domain and seizing them and be able to convert them to affordable housing units. Uh, one of my opponents had proposed a vacancy fee which I do agree with, but we need housing now and we have got to lower housing. I also want to lower the costs associated with moving in. You know, when you apply for apartments, it's 45 to $65 application. Those add up very, very quickly. You know, moving from one apartment to another, you have to either rent a car or a truck to be able to move. That is very costly. Then of course you have to pay first month's rent and last month's rent with a security deposit. Most of us Oregonians don't have 
three, four thousand dollars laying around so we can just move in. And so moving into an apartment alone is very cost prohibitive. So staying in an apartment is very expensive. Finding an apartment is very expensive. And I want to make housing a human right and add that to our state constitution because everybody deserves a home they can call theirs. Well, let's talk about the homeless situation in the state of Oregon right now. What do you do to address that issue, which is obviously a very big one in our state right now, Michael? Uh, yes, it really is. And it all stems, or well, most of it stems down to behavioral health. On my first day as governor, I will be declaring the addictions crisis a state emergency, and I will be merging the various departments that are supposed to be working together to help this cause as one. I'll be appointing a single person, a director, who will oversee all of these agencies, like Measure 110 Accountability Office, you know, the Alcon State Board. We need to have them all working together. We also need to start thinking of a home mentality, not a shelter mentality, because too many homeless people do not want to live in shelters or traditional housing. They actually want housing. And so we need to find temporary housing in the meantime, but also find permanent housing. And this is where eminent domain seizures will play a crucial, crucial role. And we also need to overhaul our zoning laws because they are unfair and they favor single occupancy homes when we need multi-unit dwelling homes and other outside the box ideas. And as governor, I will listen to all ideas, Republican, Democrat, conservative, green, independent, unaffiliated, I want to hear everyone's ideas so we can come up with a plan for all of Oregon. Michael Trimble, one of 15 Democrats running for governor in Oregon's May 17th primary. Good to hear from you. Thanks for coming on the program, Michael. Thank you so much for having me. You bet.